Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I wanted to make a video about the stock market future. Uh, after the election, you know, there's some things obviously changing. So with that said, uh, before I jump into this video, uh, just make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you think I'm crazy or your thoughts or if I'm thinking the right thing. Uh, and also, I want to thank you guys so much for all the subscribes. I mean, it's only been a couple of weeks since I've been at this, and, and it's 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 great. I mean, I'm getting really positive feedback, and uh, you know, it just gives me a drive to keep making this. So it's 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 awesome. I appreciate every single one of you guys. So thank you so much, seriously. So let's get into this video. So the election happened uh, this week. Uh, I'm actually making this you know, the day of the election, but I think I'm gonna post it on um, Sunday, which would be today. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I feel like you guys care more about actual stocks during the week when the market's moving. And Sunday's kind of a day where obviously the market's closed so I can make a video like this. So I'm gonna post this on Sunday, even though it's I'm, post, I'm actually making it on the election day, which is Wednesday. So you guys will get this in a couple days. So. All right, future of uh, stock market future. So obviously we know that clearly a lot of things have changed. We have a new uh, party in charge. Um, so here it is. So this is obviously 2021, just for reference in case someone pulls this up and they don't know what year the election is or something like that, or looking at 16 or something like that, who knows? I don't know, but it's 2021 election. Uh, so. Uh, the market did some weird things before the actual November 3rd election date. There was a lot of uncertainty. And the reason there was uncertainty is because there were, uh, you know, people that did not, didn't know what the tax rates were going to do. Um, they couldn't, you know, uh, f you know, prick the future or projections or anything like that. So a lot of people were a little weary a little bit of the market, or November 3rd, excuse me. And then when obviously they found out who won, the market was, has been going crazy ever since. So now that everybody knows what's going on, the market has certainty. So that's good. Um, so really, I mean, there's, I mean, it's, we know what's going on. We know what's going to go. We know that most likely tax over X, you know, high thresholds are going to get taxed more. Corporate tax is going to be higher. But um, now that we all know that, we can kind of project exactly what we wanted, you know, where, People can put their money in places where they think it's going to grow and they understand basically where it's going to be now. So that's good. I mean, I think we have more certainty, but there was uncertainty before all this. So there is a unified Congress now. So basically the House, the Senate and the president are all Democratic now. A couple of weeks ago, before I looked into this, I thought this was really bad because usually when one party controls everything, it's very lopsided. However, after looking into it, I actually noticed that like, just say, take the S&P 500 for example. The S&P 500, actually believe it or not, with a Democratic House, Senate, and uh, President, it still has a 10% year over year return, which actually like isn't, I mean, that's a little lower than average, but like not that bad. So. You know, I guess, you know, just historically speaking, like we shouldn't be too worried about that because that means that the market is going to, you know, the market should in theory go up, you know, something, which is great. So I wouldn't get too hung up on this because this actually scared me when um, uh, the the Senate race in Georgia happened and, and the Republicans lost. Therefore, they lost control of the Senate. Therefore, the Democratic hold all this. So that, that made me look into all this. And I feel a lot better after the research I did. So actually, even with this, it still runs about 10% year over year, which is, which is cool. Like, I'm fine with that. Um, so that makes me feel better and should make you guys feel better if you're not sure, you know, what happened here or what the future predicts if with all this. So really nothing to worry about. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't sweat it too much. Also, uh, stimulus money and new package. The president, you know, the current president said he is definitely going to make at least one more stimulus package and there's rumors that it's going to be $2,000. If we know what happened in last spring when there was a $1,200 one, I mean the market went nuts. There was, people were spending money, they were stimulating, like obviously that's exactly what they want you, you know, the people to do. So with a $2,000 one, I mean, I think that should get people excited if you're invested in the market. I mean, clearly it's going to go, 
it should do the same thing. I think it's going to do the same thing. So that's exciting. So you need to also play the correct stocks. That's, that's so important in this situation. Like you don't, like you don't want to go into stocks that aren't really good players right now. Like, uh, the hotel business got smoked. The, uh, Boeing got, the planes got smoked. Like there's a lot of, the restaurant businesses in general got smoked. So you gotta be very, 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 very careful of what you play in 2020, especially when all this was happening, I invested heavily in EV cloud. And I don't know if I can say that on here. I don't want to get like banned or something, something like that, but, um, I'll just call it the good stuff. So, I invested in two of these, two of these, and two of these. So it's obviously worked out very well for me. Um, double or triple digit gain percentage at this point. But right now you have to be careful with these because they're very overvalued. You, you could argue that the market caps are insane in most of these companies. So you gotta tread with caution right now. So if you watch my current videos, you'll see what my big four this year are, and they're all still great buys where they're at right now. So if you didn't see that, just, just check out my previous videos. So I'll keep you guys updated on if I buy anything in the segment, but you just gotta be careful. You, you just gotta tread with caution. There's not many good deals out there right now. All right, I need to speed this up because I said it on 10 minutes. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, the market will most likely, due to the stimulus and all that, and and, you know, what's, what's going to go on, the market's going to react positive, most likely, no matter what. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really confident in that. So I think investing this year is very smart. If you, if you haven't started, you know, you can just use a little, just use a little bit like 10, 20, 30, hundred thousand, like whatever you can afford, just get started and you'll see the gains. So a lot of people compare it to the dot-com bubble. I see a lot of people being like, Oh, well, the market's going nuts. And this is like a dot-com bubble. Like it really isn't if like anyone that says that is not educated, like they don't know what they're talking about. That's the honest truth. Some of the major differences are, so like I said, it's not going to happen. The APR rates right now, like for mortgages and like cars or anything, I mean, they're at all time lows. The dot com level, they were at like six to like 12% APR for everything. So right there, it's a totally different situation. Like. You can't compare 2% to 7% or 8%. Like it, it's just not comparable. With the tech bubble also, um, which we found out obviously in 2020 when, when the market was like running down and going nuts, the Fed wasn't backstopping the dot-com bubble. Like they weren't doing that. So of course, when you hit this bubble and it pops, you know, it's, it's, it wasn't backed, it wasn't stopped. So I'm confident if the market starts downtrending, have a little bit of cash on hand, like 10 to 30% of whatever your, your portfolio is, right? The Fed will step in and backstop with stimulus money. That's a fact. And if they do that, guess what? The market, they're gonna push the market right back up. So don't get, people that say the dot-com bubble, it was a totally different situation, totally different scenario. Um, the, the PE levels of the dot-com bubble were insane right now the PE levels of like the market, like it's really not that crazy. Like there are so many small things that are different now than what they were back then. It's, it's just someone that says that is not educated and needs the research before they say something like that. Cause it's not true. So with that said, um, what I would do is, or what I think is going to happen. I think the, you know, like the Dow is at, uh, I think it's at like, close to 31,000 ish right now. However, I think it is going to continue to climb all year. I'm not saying it's not going to fall. I mean, there could be a, a minor correction of 10 to 15, 20% in the spring or, so, or something negative really happens temporarily. Yeah, cool. Take advantage of it. And I'll make a video if I do, you know, like I said, I haven't bought any stocks in the past week or two, just because I'm kind of trying to build up my cash right now. Cause I do think something like that might happen and I want to be prepared for it. So just, you know, Long story short, I bet you the Dow will be higher than whatever it is what I'm making this video right now at the end of this year. I, I'm almost, I'm 95% sure that will happen. So with that said, keep investing. Uh, I, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I am a long-term investor. So if you're doing long-term investing, really you have nothing to worry about. Now, if you're doing options, short option trading, day trading, um, you know, any of that stuff like I, 
I can't tell you you're gonna lose or make money because I, I don't do it. Um, I believe in long-term investing. I really think that's how you grow wealth. Um, it's, it's the safest and easiest way in my opinion. So that's really all I got on this one. Uh, there was a lot of stuff here and I, uh, again, I'm over 10 minutes right now so I wanna cut it off soon. But uh, you know, I could talk way more in depth about something like this. If one of you guys have any questions about any of these bullet points, any of these guys, I can make another video and go into more depth if you guys are interested or, or, or want to hear more about it. Um, I'd be happy to do that. So with that said, make sure you like, subscribe, um, comment below. I think the, the subscribe button's in the corner over there. So yeah, so um, that's, that's really it. All right, peace.